Hi, thanks for watching Food with Len. In this episode, we're going to be doing potatoes again. It's potato day. This is my third potato based video today. And, and right now, we're going to go ahead and make mashed potatoes. And these are going to be creamy, delicious, uh, buttery mashed potatoes made from scratch with russet potatoes that you can get for three, four dollars a bag of 10 pounds and uh, we're going to go ahead and get started on them. The first thing we need to do is peel up a bunch of potatoes. Okay, so I have my uh, potatoes peeled, so now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to cut them into uh, little chunks, say about an inch or so, something like that, and add them to a pan of water, which I have, the water is cold and it will get to boiling there eventually, but uh, it gives me time to get all these put together and put in there. And uh, you just want to make sure that they're covered with water. You can add salt. Uh, that's optional. I think it's a good idea, if you, unless you really are adverse to too much salt, to go ahead and add some salt as you're boiling them. I add about a teaspoon. And just get these cut up. nice thing about potatoes is they're really affordable. They're really good, and they're really filling, too. Uh, a 10 pound bag of russet potatoes, and by the way I'm using russet potatoes here, and that's really good for this recipe. A uh, 10 pound bag you can get for, uh, I got a 10 pound bag for three dollars on sale, typically they're, they might be four, but you know it's typical to find them three, four dollars for 10 pounds, and you can, you get so many potatoes out of there, you can just get meal after meal after meal. We're going to go ahead and get all of these one inch squares down in some water. We're going to give them a boil and they're going to boil for about, uh, well once we've got them boiling, once I've got them boiling I'm going to go ahead and turn it down to a simmer. I'm going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. Alright, our potatoes have been simmering for quite a while now. It's probably been a good bit longer than 20 minutes and you can see just by hitting them you know, with a spoon or a fork or whatever that they're about ready to fall apart and that's good that's what I need you don't really uh, uh, I don't have a real good masher here all I have is a whisk so I just really want them you know you can't really overdo them I want them nice and soft and tender so I'm just going to take them to the sink and drain them and be right back alright so now I'm just going to drain them into a colander any colander will do just happen to have this right here so, and the sink is pretty clean, so I'm just going to put that one right back in. So now I've got this pan that's kind of dry, and pardon my doing this right in the sink, but that's just what I'm going to do. So I'm going to get my milk out. I'm going to put my potatoes right back in, like so. And I'm going to grab my whisk, and I'm just going to start mashing them up. And they mash up pretty easy, and uh, we just keep on working that around until we've got a pretty good mash going there. Now, I'm going to add some milk, and typically you would want to warm the milk, but these potatoes are just so hot that I think I'm just going to pour it right in, like so. And it might look a little soupy at first, but don't worry about that. There's a lot of starch in these, and the starch will just eat up that milk in no time, as you can see like it's doing right now. And you're getting a really good consistency here. And it's stiffening up just a little bit more, so I'm going to add a little bit more milk to this, like so. And get it just about how we like it. So it's about like so. Now I'm also going to add butter to this, but you don't add the butter before you start mashing it or it can become lumpy. Now I'm going to move back over to my work surface there. Alright, I'm back over here to the stove. I'm on the burner. It's not real hot. I've got some butter here. This butter's going to go ahead and softened up a little bit. So I'm just going to drop it in like so and work it in the mashed potatoes and now they're going to get a little creamy and buttery at the same time. Now is a good time to add any salt and if you wanted to add pepper you could add pepper. And you're just going to salt it up to taste a little bit and uh, shake them up a little bit more here 
And I think that's pretty much got it. Let me just take another taste. Ah, perfect. Okay. So let's go ahead and get a plate out. Small plate. And I'll get my spoon here. And I'll plate some out. But there you have it, folks. Uh, nice, creamy, delicious uh, mashed potatoes from scratch using russet potatoes and a little bit of milk and a little bit of butter, and you're good to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make it. If you do, let me know how it turned out. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you very much.